What's going on everybody? I am your host Cameron and today I'm going to be teaching all of you guys how to add a usage bar to your 5 minutes of Freddy's fan game. So a usage bar, it's been in most of the 5 minutes of Freddy's games. Basically it just shows how much power you are using, you know, whenever you're using certain equipment. Like in 5 minutes of Freddy's 1, if you go press like the door button and the door comes down, it adds one to the usage bar and then it takes more power, stuff like that. So that's all I'm going to be doing in today's episode, just showing you guys how to add a usage bar and it should be pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to go into one of my random nights I'm just going to go into my night five. Although if you are doing this in every single one of your nights, just throw it into every single one of your nights, um, like after the, the tutorial is over. But today, we're going to insert some stuff. We're going to go right click, insert object, active, and this is going to be our actual usage bar. So I'm going to go, I'm going to rename this to usage bar, and then I'm going to double click into it, and I'm going to insert all of my frames for my usage bar. And the thing about this is, once you insert all of, oh, what is going on there? Uh, once you insert all of your usage bars, um, just go over, uh, let me just make that real quick. Um, so obviously once you have all your usage bars, go over to view hotspot and hold down alt on your keyboard and press the middle square so that it all stays in the middle. But now we're going to get to this one. So as you can see, here's my usage bar. So when it's at one, this is for generally when I'm not using anything, but the power kind of just goes down gradually. Like in FNAF 1, the fan, for example, it, it takes power. The fan takes power and, you know, it. so basically power is automatically getting drained even if you're not doing anything. And this is for like if I use like a light button, I hold down, I, I only use like one door, I open the cameras. This is if I use like two equipment, so one of my doors, one of my light buttons. And this is for if I have like both doors closed, for example, and I have a camera up, if you know what I mean. Now, the thing about this is, if you don't have a system where power drains automatically, then what you could do is you could just insert like, you could like copy the frame or something, and insert one of your frames where it has, it's just like a white box, which means that no power is getting taken. But for my FNAF fan game, power is going to drain gradually anyway, so it's going to be like this. Anyway, after you have that, we're going to press OK, and I'm just going to stick it probably right above my power, like right here. You can barely see it because Bonnie's fat ass white fur is there, but I'm just going to put it right there. And we're going to go over to properties, runtime options, and be sure to uncheck follow the frame. There we go. And after you have all of that, now we're actually going to code it in. Uh, no, we're not. We got to insert one more thing. We're going to go right click, insert object. We are going to go to the counter. Okay. And we are going to call this usage counter. I was going to call it something else, but I couldn't think of anything. So we're just going to call it usage counter. So basically this will be, this will keep track of everything that we're using. So I'm going to just stick this right like in this frame. You can change the color of it so it's like more distinct and you can see, and you can see it better. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it right there because I know I'm going to be able to see it just fine. Uh, anyway, now we're actually going to get to the code. So we're going to go over to event editor and we're going to go down to power. Now, I'm also going to teach you guys something about the whole a group of events thing. So you can take it as two tutorials one. So every single tutorial that we've done has always been we do it at like the notches like right here these are conditions um and we always do it when like the conditions are like this when they're against like the border of my workspace and properties toolbar toolbar but we're going to insert a group of events in my power by going to this little indent which for me is 126 go right click insert a group of events usage bar now you might be wondering why would you do that what, what does it do differently well if you close up the power the usage closes up with it as well so and i, I do that because you know usage is a part of the power so i just kind of like to do that it kind of categorizes it better but of course if you're like nah i want it to be its own separate thing so i can close it whenever i want to then you can always just drag it down to the indent down here which is closest to the border and then just do that but anyway, now that you know that, we're going to go over to new condition, 
uh, storybook controls, start a frame. We are going to go over to our usage bar, right click, set counter to one. Now this is if you have a power system which automatically goes down, but of course, if you're just sitting in the office not doing anything and it doesn't go down, then you would switch it to zero because you're not doing anything. But for me, my power goes down automatically just like in FNAF 1, so I'm just gonna switch it to one. After you have that, gonna go over to new condition, gonna go over and now we are going to insert everything. So we're gonna insert like our left light activation, our right light activation, basically make it so that when it's equal to one, it adds one to the usage bar counter, but if it's not in use, then it subtracts one, if that makes sense, for every single instance where we use power. So we're gonna go over to left hallway light activation, compare the counter to a value, and we're going to say when it is equal to one, then we're gonna go right click, insert, special conditions, limit conditions, only one action when event loops. You want to have only one action when event loops because if you don't have that, then the counter is going to add up forever. It's going to add up infinitely. But if you have only one action when event loops in there, then it only counts up one until it is activated again, if that makes sense. And of course, if this is true, we're going to go over to our usage counter, go right click, add to counter, one. So as soon as we have that, now we want to copy and paste this, and then we want to go over to our copy code, double click into it and change it to different, or you can always just go right click and negate it to change it to different, which is a lot faster as well. And when it's not in use, which is when the counter is different than one, then we're gonna go right click, subtract from counter, one. And that's basically the whole synopsis of it, right? So let's show you how this works. So, as of right now, the, the usage bar itself is not in working order, right? But of course, this is set to zero right now, um, and we're gonna in the future, we're gonna add in a limiter, so basically if it's lower than one, then it stays at one, but if I press this, it adds to one, and if I let go, it doesn't. So that means it's not in use, and it is in use, which means it would add one here. And of course, we wanna do this for every single instance, which basically means we wanna do this for our right light, our left door, our right door, and our camera monitor. And the easiest way that I figured out how to do this was just go copy this, just copy the top part which says left hallway light activation equals one, copy that, drag that below the counters different than one, and then just double click into your object here, not the code itself, but the object, and then just change it to right hallway light activation. Because you can just, it's just a quick little switch over to that, right? And of course, since it's already copied, we already have the only one action when event loops already there, and we already have add one to counter. So we're all good there. Then we're gonna copy this, and then we're gonna negate this code, which is the other. And of course, when that's not in, when the uh, right light is not on, then we wanna just delete this, and then change this to subtract from counter one. So I think it's an easier way, and I do think it's actually better now. And it is working now. Uh, obviously, it's set to negative one right now, which we will fix that later. And then you use the right button, boom, it's set to zero. And when I use the left button, well, it's still gonna stay at zero. Uh, it would be better if it was the doors because obviously we can't keep one light on. Um, so, but obviously if it was like something for like the doors, then it would make this demonstration a lot better. But you get the idea of it. It adds one to the counter, which means it adds one to the usage bar. So then we want to copy this where it says right hallway light activation equals one. We want to copy that and drag that below the counter is different than one again. And then we want to change the counter this time to left door activation. And when the left door is on, it adds one to counter. So we're all good there. Then we're going to copy that and then change the other, and we're going to negate that or make it different. And of course, when the left door is not in motion and is not down, then we wanna get rid of this and then change this to subtract from counter one. See what I mean? It's very repetitive. You guys get the idea. And we're gonna do this for our right door and for our camera monitor. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that real quick. So basically I'm just gonna copy the left door activation is equal to one, copy that, paste it, uh, put it below my counter is different than one. We're gonna change this counter to right door activation now. And then everything's working there. So then we wanna copy that, 
and then change the other one and we want to negate it so it is different than one and when it's different than one then we want to subtract and counter one which means that if the door is up then obviously you can't the usage bar is not going to be good there and then after that we want to do it for one last thing which is our uh camera monitor so we're just going to do this one more time drag this below the counter of the one and then we're going to change the counter to camera animation trigger so when the an camera animation trigger is equal to one it adds one which is perfect but then we want to go copy paste and then for the other one we want to excuse me change it to different or negate it and then when it's negated then we want to go right click subtract from counter one the next thing we want to do is go over to new condition we want to go over to the uh where is it where's it at usage counter compare the counter to your value when it is lower or equal than one that is if you have a power going down automatically in your office even when you're doing nothing uh, obviously if you don't have any power going down automatically then just change it to zero but i'm i have one for mine so i'm going to say when it's lower or equal than one we're going to go over to the usage counter and set it to one now it should work so we're going to focus on this counter up here and as you can see it is set to one right now which means that it, obviously if this usage bar was working it would only be the green bar which means that we're using nothing and our actually i'm going to go ultimate full screen for this oh i have made a tutorial for ultimate full screen if you want to check that out but as you can see if i use the left light it adds one but if i don't it subtracts down back to one if i close the door it adds to one and then it goes back down same for the right now if i want to have both doors closed because i'm a little scared god damn it bonnie <sighs> Bonnie ruined my de demonstration, but go here, and then I go ultimate full screen, and then I go, oh, I'm going to close both doors, I'm a little scared, so then it's set to three, but then I'm like, all right, well, I want to see where they're at, so I'm just going to use the camera system, and boom, it's set to four, so we have it working, but now we have to get the actual office, not office, but we want to get the actual um, usage bar to work, so we're going to go over to new condition, go over to usage bar, compare the count to value, when it is equal to one, we're gonna go over to our usage bar. We're gonna go right click, animation, change, animation frame to zero, which is the first frame. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this because it's like the same code, but the numbers are different. So I'm gonna go copy this down three more times. And since uh, obviously this is for like everything, I'm gonna change the second counter to two. And then I'm gonna go over to the animation frame. And where it says force animation frame to zero, well, we're gonna go right click, edit, force animation frame to one. Because now it is using two pieces of equipment, which means that it, you're now using two pieces of equipment, literally. So then we're gonna change this other counter down here below the two to three. So when the usage counter is set to three, then we are going to set the animation frame to two or edit it so it is two now, which means that we're using three pieces of equipment. Or rather for me, it would be only two pieces of equipment because power goes down automatically. And then we're gonna change this last one to four. Like this, we're gonna change this last one to four, which means that we're literally using everything. And then of course, we're gonna go force animation frame, edit two, three. So now this is gonna work. So if I run frame and then I go up, and as you guys can see, it is set to one right now. But then I go, oh, okay, okay, right, right, right. So, oh, all right, all right, all right. Close the door. All right, I want to check the right light though. Okay, okay. Oh, I don't know where they're at. I want to check the cameras though. Boom. It works. So that's about it for the usage bar tutorial. Um, pretty self-explanatory. The only thing you would have to do on your own is obviously like get rid of it. Like if like the power's out, you would need to make um the usage bar like invisible so for example if i go up to power then i go over to like what i go over to uh freddy power out appearance equals zero uh actually no on timer event power out i would just go to like usage bar right click uh visibility invisible so it's hidden and this goes for like pretty much like everything else like for the lure buttons and stuff which i didn't do in the past but i think if you guys did that on you guys should have done that on your own since it was pretty easy um, but either way, we got the tutorial done. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, uh, I'm trying to think what the next tutorial is going to be. 
Oh yeah, next tutorial is gonna be an exact timer. So it's gonna count your seconds and it's gonna count your hours, literally this time. So instead of just one, like, like you know, like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 6 a.m., it's actually gonna count like your, it, like in real life time, kind of. Like, it's gonna be like, excuse me, it's gonna count your hours, of course, but then it's also gonna count your minutes and your seconds too. And in a tutorial, I might do like milliseconds too, but that might be a stretch. I don't know yet. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.